Hey folks, I'm Surveying Glory, and welcome to part 5 of my playthrough as uh, Chief Vladimir of Marmaros uh, in Crusader Kings 2. The intention is to try and survive until 1440 and bring into the world Count Vladimir Dracula, one way or another. A um, big thing for me last episode was what was going on with my attempt to abduct somebody. I need to... Uh, for uh, the cold ones, uh, I'm looking to sacrifice a virgin. So I had identified somebody in here. In fact, I think he was in Feher, but then they lost that province. Uh, Yagbu Yantsuk, who is in hiding. So this is the guy. He's not married. He's only 19. Uh, I'm trying to abduct him. And hopefully sacrifice him. However, what I've realised subsequently is that uh, I am backing a plot to kill the guy. So probably a good idea to stop doing that. If the plot fails, you might come out of hiding and then I can abduct him. So there we go. Simples. Uh, now, do I want to worship the ancestors? It would require sacrificing somebody. Um, no, I'm going to decline that. Thank you very much. Uh, worship ancestors. I think we'll give it a go. I think we'll go for affection and comradeship because I'm still trying to get an heir. Uh, I've had think, two daughters, three daughters, I, and my wife died in, while she was pregnant. Let's try that. Uh, forget the rest. We have no heir, as I've just said. Another daughter. Good God. I'm going to have to Go ahead and change the laws, I think. So, focus on duty. You asked your ancestors for aid with your relationships. Now it is time to present your offering. Uh, this guy. He's very learned, but he doesn't do anything for me. So, sacrifice him. The offering struggled violently when the Volv and her disciples pushed it down on the offering stone. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me. Okay. What's this? I have risen so fast to the top that other people regard me with envy. Ah, so Dan, my diviner, admires my ambition. Let's uh, take advantage of that by charging him. Whenever I talk to women nowadays, I can tell that they are bothered by my missing eye. I have, it has shaken my confidence, and I have of, often feel awkward interacting with them. Uh, let's go for the glass eye. Additional sex appeal might help. Uh, picking up fills does not concern me. Yep, so I have four daughters. The eldest betrothed to the heir of the High Chieftain of Moravia. Which doesn't mount too much these days. That would, He would have been heir to the kingdom a wee while ago before the kingdom was usurped. I don't know why I've never noticed Gunns before. In fact, I have some memory of finding her the opposite of attractive. Um... Now let me see, hang on. So I am, uh, have a, I do have a seduction focus. But that's, man, I am lustful. No, I'm not, I'm greedy. I'm a cannibal as well, I've forgotten about that. So I'm arbitrary. 
have a concubine, have a wife. No, that is my wife. Adriana. No, it's not. They just look very similar, which is probably why they're my wife and my concubine. Um, and I've got my glass eye. Awesome. Uh, anyway, back to this. I don't think there's any benefit to be gained from trying to seduce this lady. So I will pass that by. Face smiles upon me, my wife is pregnant. Excellent. And I keep taking all sorts of trouble. I spend money, I try to make sure that they're comfortable and not stressed. My wives I'm talking about. Um, so I do as much as I can to try and encourage an heir. And also have groom an heir. Um, but time's running short. What's this army of Bessar? Really? Well, let's go and carouse while well, the county's under siege. My spymaster tells me that information about my plot to kill High Chief Yanni the Drunkard may have leaked to someone outside a conspiracy. Okay, so we've lost that. Uh, King Predslav of Pannonia has inherited the Kingdom of Pannonia. Excellent. So my... <laughs> um, my firstborn daughter is now betrothed to the heir to the Kingdom of Pannonia. So I suppose that's good news. Uh, yeah, let's focus you on... Uh, faith? Heritage? No. Well, heritage, you go. I don't usually take heritage. Um, but I now have five daughters. And I need a new spy master. Don't really have anyone worthwhile. So I'll appoint you. And. I'll send you across to study technology. That should do it. Okay, let's get rid of all these small messages. And I have arrived at the private rooms of Chief Espor for some more carousing, no doubt more gaming. I've lost the last three, I think. Sessions in a row. Played for hours, the tides of fortune ebbing and flowing as I tried to attack my opponent's positions. Uh, made a few inspired and aggressive moves and won the game. And now I have cramps. A great pox. Okay, so. To alleviate your pain, Duncan lit three luck candles and had you join hands with him. After a moment of silence, he had you repeat some words after him in a language you did not understand. Um, I'm wondering if I'm going to survive t to the end of this. Um, hang on. Uh, to the end of this episode. Never mind until 1440. So my liege's council is discontent. Who is my liege? My liege is uh, yeah, the High Chief of Transylvania. My previous High Chief was slain in personal combat by my buddy. Okay. High Chief Yogurto is imprisoned by High Chief Vakrim. I still have a claim on this, but I don't have the troops to raise it. There's 400 men. 
490 there. Okay. You haven't had any severe cramps for some time now. Whatever caused them must have been dealt with. Excellent. So much for your great pox. Nominate a successor for High Chieftain of Transylvania. The Spot of Temes. I guess it has to be him. There's nobody in my bloodline anywhere near this. No. Yeah, we nominate my good friend. As long as I apply. Yeah, I might want to... Hang on. Women can inherit, but only if there are no eligible males. Well, that's fine. There we go. We have a new heir. I'm winning over my king's friendship. Oh no! Jeez! Oh. For some time now, my daughter Adelina has been overcome with fatigue and troubled by a persistent cough. I have now been informed that the symptoms are due to pneumonia. Call for my court physician. I can't have my newly appointed heir dying on me. Hmm. Wait a minute. No, that's, that's fine. I just... If they, if she survives and they marry, she keeps her lands as her personal title. That's right, I don't lose my lands to this guy. I hope. I guess we'll find out. The wall and ditch has been built. We've still got plenty of prestige. It's uh, because it's a shorter time, we'll go for the riding grounds first. The High Chieftain of Transylvania needs another nomination. What happened to Espor? Um, abduct him. He's now twenty-one. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to nominate him. I wanted to check this out. I can change it, I suppose. Still not married. Uh, so I want to come back in here, check the realm, nominate. Yeah, just him. That's fine. Okay, so you're now 12. Hmm, intrigue could be good. I might need you to plot to get your son onto the throne at some point. So we'll build up your intrigue if we can. King Predslav of Pannonia made High Chief as part of Transylvania Champion. What? So why is he no longer eligible uh, as an heir? Espor of Temes is still there. Oh no, he is now, right, got you. He is now the High Chief of Transylvania. I've nominated this guy as his heir. That's the story. I 
Hmm. Wondering about searching for a smith. Uh, my brother in winter, Veduti Skalosonus, was passing by and decided to pay a surprise visit. He is in a good mood and thought we might stage an impromptu orgy. What a lovely idea. I'll wear my, horn wear my, wear my horned helmet. Okay, feel great. Extra fertility and sex appeal. In 51, Dukum died under suspicious circumstances. Okay, I don't think he was anybody in particular. Uh, Timurich, we will accept. We'll offer you our support. King Predislav of Pannonia made High Chief as part of that champion. Right away, we saw that. Uh, an advisor. I'm going to have to see if I can get myself some sort of position. I, I suppose I'm not Malige's religion or culture. So he's unlikely to offer me any positions. Let's summon a familiar. I need all the help I can get, I think. I'll do that. As a Zretz and a weaver of Koldovsto, I can summon a supernatural beast by my companion. This familiar will be my eyes and ears as well as imbue me with its powers. Uh, well, or like a bat, but can't get a bat, so Dracula could transform into a sort of wolf. So, there we go. You, uh, No, not doing any of that. Invite to plot. <sighs> no, can you stop? Um, Let's actually see if we can convince him to stop that plot. No, we can't. A bit tainted touch. Do I want to... It's a bit harsh just to try and get the guy to stop plotting against the guy I'm trying to abduct. I presume I get a message when my ah, um, my familiar arrives, but King Predslav has passed away. I can only hope he remembered me fondly in his last moments. Okay. You stay betrothed to my daughter, please. Your regent doesn't like me very much. Um, who else is in your court? Mm, nobody particularly likes me because I'm a different religion and culture, probably. So... Um, I thought about this earlier. Didn't think so. Uh, let's see. Do I want to give him the tainted touch? Why not? I've not used it. Let's see if we can do something. Yes, yeah, so the king's passed away. I wanted to find out. Oh yeah, I do have my familiar. So it just arrives automatically. That's two Marshall plus one Intrigue. I wonder, am I anywhere at all in line for the High Chieftainship?
Mm, there's a chance. You are imprisoned by Vakrim of Targoviste. No, don't want to do that right now. Praised be Chernabog, my cold Wolfstvo has borne fruit. News has reached me of the driveling windbag Chief Labertam's recent illness. He's suffering from slow fever and I doubt he will last very long. Okay. Doesn't do me an awful lot of good, but at least I know. Um... Manmaros just continues to be under siege by more men than I can repel. I can't raise local levies. I can now. 43. So we'll unraise them. I received word that your spy master has been spying in one of my counties. He's been arrested. Most unfortunate. I do apologise. He wasn't spying as such. He was studying. The title came of Peronia from Chief. You are rubbish. So, this guy. Uh, okay. Oh well. I suppose it was too good to last. Never mind, I uh, need a new spy master again. Let's see if we can invite somebody to court. So, Diplo Range, yes, willing to join court. Don't need that. Okay, you might be good. He's Norse. He should be independent. Let's invite Jalen Aramid. Think not married. Um, invite to court. You can probably see where this is going. And she's arrived. Good stuff. Hello. On the title. Oh, I c what? No, not on the title. Appoint counselor, spy master. And seduce. Demonic possession as well. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I want to seduce the spy master. I want her to be completely loyal to me. Thinking about that, um, I could take her as a concubine. Let's do that. Um, uh, do I want cruel? I don't think so. Okay. 
Okay, lots of ransoming going on. It might have been better to try and seduce her since I had the seduction focus, um, but who's arrested her? High Chief Dragomir of Abulge. Seriously? It's not very nice of you. And my wife as well. Uh, I suppose that's why I've taken another concubine. I need to put her to good use though, in her capacity as um, as my spy master. Maybe just leave her as scheming. Yeah, leave her scheming for just an out. leave that. We're not getting anywhere at all with our, our technology. Okay, more ransoming. I have been convinced by Pexin to institute the tax shifted church obligations law. Okay, go ahead. A large merchant caravan, caravan from distant lands has arrived at the gates of your stronghold. Their leader, a jovial man of massive girth, pleads with you in a strange accent to grant them shelter from the elements for the night. Very well, let them in. Since I came to Bihar, we have never had a shortage of soldiers reinforcing our troops. As the evening falls, the fat merchant sits by the fire and regales you and the rest of the court with stories of his travels. His appetite seems insatiable, but as you do not wish to prove a poor host, you order your servants to bring in a second serving. Tell us more about Hindustan. Dawn breaks and the caravan prepares to move on. The merchant insists on leaving you a gift, as thanks for your great hospitality. He shouts a terse command in a foreign language and a young man comes forward. This eunuch will serve you well, the merchant says. Sabas. Um, yeah, okay. Good to have. And I now have a small army. Awesome. But anyway, uh, Sabas. Um, don't have Court Yurok, which is unfortunate, given he's ideally suited for it. He's also an Impaler, my guy. Those of shadow. Um, let's oh, recruit them to the cold ones. Let's go ahead and do that. Meeting with Sabas, I made sure to only cautiously question the absolute power of his almighty Perrin. Regretfully, it seems that my words only irritated my courtier. Uh, disappointing. Okay, never mind. Um, he still like me okay. So let's consider this. Fire Counselor and appoint Sabas instead. Invite to plot. No, I don't want to kill him, I want to abduct him. Is he still in hiding? Uh, where is he? There he is. Yes, he's still in hiding. He's still not married. Okay, so we're not going to abduct him this time. Uh, so I'll put a break in here and we'll pick it up and try and get them next time out. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Please leave me a comment and rate the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. And I hope to see you again next time. Cheers.